I think it's fair to say Wild West Dynasty did not have the best launch. Of the Dynasty games, it was the most poorly received, didn't really play well, full of bugs, it just it didn't resonate with players hoping to replicate the Dynasty experience. I covered it, but other games came in and took my attention away. The devs have not stopped working though, and today they've released an announcement which could, could change our minds about the game. Toplets have been teasing this update for the last few days. I, wonder, I was wondering if it was going to be an update, but I wasn't expecting this, so let's go through it. Dear Pioneers, we've been looking forward to reaching out to you, sharing an exciting turn of events, and answering some of your most burning questions. Wild West Dynasty is dead. Long live Wild West Dynasty. What we are working on at the moment is no longer the same game that you are currently playing and that many of you have been unhappy with, and I'd say to say many of us have abandoned. The changes we are making are fundamental, and we believe going by your feedback necessary. Let us share some of what we have been working on and what you can expect. So they talk about they're going to change everything about the game, which could be exciting. What does New Beginning mean exactly and what will be changed? Well, everything. The game's onboarding will be changed and you'll be able to play as a new player character in whose skin we hope you will feel more like a true frontiersman. His main story will be a different and complete one. He will encounter new characters and side quests along the way. And then what they note is although the character's gonna be male, which fair enough, you know, it's more of a single story one this one. You're gonna encounter a cast of intriguing women that will help or work against you. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it important to play as a woman? I mean, I think it's a modern thing. A lot of games in the past, you either had to play as a woman, Lara Croft, or as a male, you know, Nathan Drake. <laughs> so there'll be some more changes to graphics and map design, UI animation, sounds, and gameplay mechanics. And we've called the Exterminator on several known and well-hidden bugs. There's no mention of the change into Unreal Engine to match Medieval Dynasty and Sengoku, but eh, we might learn more in the future. So what they're doing is, I think they're taking it out of Early Access, and they're actually just going to call it version 1.0 now. The changes we are making to the game are fundamental. This does take time to realise and to test, especially for a relatively small core development team. We expect our work on version 1.0 to continue until early quarter 2, in the meantime, we hope to share some of our progress with you. So reading that, I'm thinking we're probably not going to see any of this until the summer. Quarter two is April to April, May, June. April to June. Which ties in actually because I'm sure Wild West Dynasty will be released in April. Can we keep our old saves? There'll be changes to the core gameplay loop and mechanics, so unfortunately it will not be possible to play the updates on old saves. However, we will keep a playable version on a separate beta branch. That's good, the fact that they're allowing you to do it. This way your saves will remain playable, even if not with the new update. The hope though is if the changes are that big and that drastic, no one will bother with the old way. We have chosen 1.0 to mark a crucial turning point in the game's development. This is what it means first and foremost. It does not mean that all support will cease or that we have nothing further to add to the game. Our team will remain with you and this game. We've decided to fight for this for you and so we will. That's great news. You know, some a game launch like this, you, you could just say let's cut our losses and, and move, which is, you know, one of the things of early access. How many games have just been abandoned through the years? The fact that Moon Punch are deciding to stick with it is great news. More questions and answers. Please share your thoughts and questions. We will do our best to answer them in the coming weeks. By the way, I'm reading this from Toplitz's uh, Discord. I'll put a link in... Well, can I put a link? Huh. I'll see if I can put a link in the description for you, but that's where you get the news from, from not only Wild West Dynasty, but all their games. Well, these past weeks have been filled with hard work, with occasional frustration, but also with successes and positive surprises. Most of the latter have been directly and indirectly related to you. We won't lie, a Wild West Dynasty start has been rough, and our journey has been challenging in many ways. So that's fair enough. It is. That's, that, there's no way around it, is there? It's, it's the least popular of the, of the three Dynasty games. Well, I know there's Lumberjack and Farmers, but pfft. We read, about your, we read about your disappointment and your anger, and we read that you care. And we cannot put into words how grateful we are for your encouragement, your fairness, your understanding, and your support of us and each other. 
Your constructive criticism and your suggestions have influenced the direction we are taking now. A direction that will hopefully lead to a game that we can enjoy and be proud of together. Because without you, there would be no beginning. You are what drives us and what keeps us going. No game can ever live without its players. So please allow us to offer our sincerest apologies for this rough start and our thanks. We really hope this new version will bring you the fun and joy our original vision had in mind. And that we are finally able to deliver a great Wild West game. So Moon Punch Studio on top of it. I think that's positive news. The game was pretty rough when it started. There was elements that were okay, but there wasn't really much to do. For me, I think one of the problems with it was the fact that people were coming from Medieval Dynasty, which was out for a few years and had a lot of content, a lot of updates. So you go from that to a brand new game. Maybe the jump was um, a bit too much for people. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Did you play Wild West Dynasty when it came out? Is it a game you've been keeping an eye on and this news is better for you? Are you excited for it? I did do a comparison of the Dynasty games when they first come out. So you can see that on the screen somewhere. I don't know. Wherever the finger goes. 